designing? One, we want first to really appreciate the IBC for giving direction. And of course, uh, ask the JB Moturi that next time when he's making such, uh, uh, such uh, in, you know, remarks that can cause or stir a lot of discomfort in the country, I think he need to first uh, uh, be able to do enough research because he is he is the number three in the country. So we expect him to give information that uh, is well researched. And uh, because his office, the office of the national speaker has everything uh, he needs, has uh, so many directors, so we don't expect him to give such uh, information, knowing that uh, he one time served in the judiciary. Uh, secondly, we appreciate uh, the statement by the chairman of IBC. He has made it very clear. Uh, the pressure was really mounting for the members of the county assembly uh, to resign, which was not a very good thing. And knowing that very clearly that uh, we are supposed to serve for five year, for five years, and our term is protected in the constitution, and again uh, there's already the the court pronounced itself, and of course as we wait for for the case to be determined in the court of appeal, uh, we do not expect this. So the IBC has really uh, given us a lot of relief, and we've been able to serve our people because it is, it is very discriminatory. And I'm asking the CAF to proceed up to the Supreme Court so that uh, the Supreme Court can be able to pronounce itself fully so that the, mat the matter can be settled once and for all. Uh, because, not because of us, but even for the future of this country. Other MCAs may want to learn for the members of parliament. We don't want a repeat of the same. So we are hoping that the CAF is needed to go to follow the matter up to uh, to the Supreme Court, and we'll be able to get uh, to settle this matter uh, once and for all. So for us, we are grateful to the IBC, uh, because you can you can imagine a situation where you leave your ward for six months. Honestly, who, who will be following uh, the project? In the second half of this financial year, this is the time the government is releasing uh, funds for various projects and programs. So we will do that. You know, most uh, most county assemblies will be carrying out a supplementary budget. So, what do you expect from from when you are not around? What will, what will, what will happen to your ward? You know, they will just uh, kill some of these projects and dispute among other MCs. So, it is really very discriminative, and you can imagine how where will be your people who will be representing them for the last uh, for those six months. So, to us, even even if you didn't go to school. Even a Mamamboga will know that the rule is discriminative and is really infringing to the right of the electorate who gave us the mandate to serve them for five years.